guys, it's Brooke here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing a chit chat, get ready with me, and I'm gonna be showing you guys my hair, makeup, and outfit. Throughout the video, I also asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram, so I'm gonna be answering those questions in this video. If you wanna hear your questions um, in my future videos, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and I'll either link it down below in the description or I'll also put my Instagram right here on the screen. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So today I actually decided to uh, do my makeup down here in my bedroom on my mirror right here in front of me. I usually do my makeup in my bathroom actually and I have my makeup here that usually sits in my bathroom. So I actually asked you guys some questions on Instagram that I have, and I have some, some of them right here. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start with my makeup. So as you can tell, I have some lashes on. Uh, these are actually like at home lash extensions that I do myself, like, and I really love these lashes. These lashes are by Lashify. And this is the control kit. I really suggest these lashes if you're looking into more like at home lashes if you're not really interested in lash extensions. What I also really like about these lashes, if you do have lash extensions, you can double up uh, with these lashes on your lash extensions. So I'll show you guys the kit that, I'm, kit that I have. There's a box that comes in and this is my control kit. And I absolutely love this product so much. I've been using it for a while. So this is the control kit. It comes with the glue, the seal, and your lashes. Obviously, there's no lashes on this one because I'm wearing them right now. It's with your fuse wand, and I love this. So I'm just going to be fusing my lashes because I haven't fused them at all today. So that's the thing about these lashes. you got to fuse them, fuse them every morning and night if you want to sleep in them. That's another thing that I really love about these lashes because... You get to sleep in them and they last pretty long time they can last for a week if you want to take your lashes off you can just take them off but if you have lash extensions you can't really do that so that's what i really like about these so i'm just going to be using my lashes because this is the fuser I also really like these because I can just customize my own lashes and if I want dramatic lashes that day, I can do some dramatic ones. If I want more of a natural look, I can go ahead and do that. If you guys want more of a review on these lashes, I can totally do that for you guys if you're interested in buying this product. But this video is not sponsored by them whatsoever. Once I'm usually done with like doing that with my lashes, um, I'm going to move on with uh, foundation. Now, I really need a new primer, but I don't really know which one to get. So if you guys know any good primers, uh, please put that in the comments below. So I'm going to be answering the first question here is, why did you start YouTube? I started YouTube for many reasons, actually. And um, this is the foundation I'm using. It's the All Nighter by Irma Decay, and I'm in shade 2.5. But I started YouTube for so many reasons, guys. Um, when I was a kid, I would always make like those video stars videos with like my friends. I was like really obsessed with watching YouTube videos, and I like just kind of said to myself, like, I wonder how people like make these videos, cause like I kind of want to make my own videos. Looked up on how to make your own channel and stuff, and I just kind of like started making videos, and I really like making videos. It's just like really good for memories so really good because you can meet more people online and everything and make friends and just have fun with it. I don't know why but this foundation I got pretty tan over the summer and this is usually the color I am when it's like winter time so I'm a bit more white but more pale looking. It's, what competitions will you be going to this season? Miss you. Miss you too. Um, so if you guys don't know, I also started competitive cheerleading and I love doing it. It's my favorite thing ever. Uh, this year's competition, I will be going to Vegas in February and I'm really excited for that. And I'm doing lots of local competitions and I'm also 
going to uh, Portland in December for our first competition, I believe. But I will be blogging a lot this year also as well. Here is how old are you? I am 15 years old. What is your dream job or a job you want to get? So I don't know if you know, but I'm, I really love like modeling. I'm like really photogenic. So I really want to do some modeling as I get older and like do some now. I'm really into fashion and like styling my own outfits and stuff. So I would really would be interested in starting my own fashion line, being like a hairdresser, like cause I'm really into hair and stuff and like styling hair as well. But I have so many things I want to do. How do you stay so positive all the time? Flash pieces of ad advice to stay positive. Okay, so being positive can be really hard, especially if someone like puts you down and is really rude to you and just like kind of ruins your day. You are your own motivator. Like you need to motivate yourself. If you are having a bad day and then you wake up the next day, you should motivate yourself and say, you know what, today's going to be a great day. We're going to make it really nice. I'm going to be nice to everyone and just be positive vibes. You know, you really, I really like to talk to myself and just get my own, myself hyped up because you know what they say, love comes first, but you have to love yourself first before you can love anyone. I really just recommend just if someone is rude to you, you know, just ignore it and, you know, kill them with kindness. But just really, I would really just suggest be your own type of motivation and just try and stay positive if something, if you're having a bad day or try not to get let people get to you. I'm just always, like, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm always positive or and stuff like sometimes I'm sad or I'm insecure about like just different things or I get upset with myself but at the end of the day it's not the end of the world and you need and people like you guys gotta realize to yourself that it's not the end of the world and things will get better so just remember to try and always stay positive and put off good vibes next question I got guys is High school and competitive cheer difference. Okay, so high school cheer and uh, competitive cheer. I do both because I have a cheer team at my school. Um, I definitely like competitive cheer a lot better just because it's my it's I've been doing competitive cheer um, more than high school cheer. I like both. They're really good, but um, the difference is that the difference is with high school cheer is you're cheering on teams at your school and everything versus competitive cheer. I feel like competitive cheer is a lot more work because there's more practices in competitive cheer. For me at least, because I only get like one pr practice at high school cheer and I have like two, two practices a week for competitive cheer plus sometimes the weekend because of competitions. With competitive cheer, you cheer on your teammates while you're doing a routine at a competition and you go to compete against other gyms. There's a lot of things that are different about competitive cheer compared to high school cheer. Are you going on any trips soon? Yes, I am. I'm actually, well, like I said, I'm going to Vegas in February and like I'll be going to Mexico in March with one of my really good best friends. Shout out to you, girl, Madison. Going to some local places. Buy some makeup tips. Alrighty then. And top five makeup brands. I don't really, like it really depends, I feel like, for makeup. Because for you, if you like the best makeup products, I feel like should come for what you like best. Because you're putting it on your own face and what works best for you. I like a lot of different makeup brands. I even use like drugstore makeup brands too as well. It really depends with yourself for makeup and like how it works for you. These were my two Anastasia pencils that I had. I had the definer, the thicker brush. And I love this one because it never ran out and I still have some left and I love it. 
I, I really recommend this like for like quick mornings with getting ready in the morning. I like this eyebrow pencil as well. It's the same thing as my Morphe one, but I would recommend, I usually would go for the Morphe one. If you're like on a budget here, I would definitely go for Morphe eyebrow brushes instead of the Anastasia ones because they're basically like a dupe. So I would definitely, um, if you're looking to try some new like eyebrow pencils, go ahead, you know, like you guys should definitely try out Morphe's eyebrow pencils. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows as well. My eyebrows, I really like to go ahead and just be, just do like natural eyebrows. You know, if you have like greasy eyelids like me and like your eyeshadow doesn't last all day, I really suggest this product. It's by Too Faced and it's a shadow insurance and it's a 24 hour anti-crease eyeshadow primer. My eyelids get really greasy throughout the day and I definitely recommend this if your eyeshadow is not lasting like every day, like the whole day, like your eyes are creasing and you can kind of see your eyeshadow is kind of rubbing off. So I definitely recommend this product. As a tip when using eyeliner so I can show you the type of eyeliner I use I use the Stila one and it's really good I really recommend it it's just like a pen like this you see it like to really make sure your eyeliner is starting at the outer corner of your eye and goes out to your eyebrow, your eyebrow tip and not all the way like that would kind of look a little weird but just like a little one Okay, so next question is how do you get makeup to last all day? Makeup is really hard to last all day, especially for me because I have greasy skin, like setting spray, you know, there's some setting powder out there. Definitely recommend, like, if you're going out for the day, bring some just some, like, makeup powder along. Just bring some makeup powder along and bring a brush and just, like, if you get greasy, like just pat it on your face, it'll make your face look less greasy, you know? Or there's also waterproof mascara, which would last more all day. How many studios have you cheered at and what were they? So I've cheered at many cheerleading studios. First place I went to was Valley All Stars, was I went to Extreme and I was, in, I was there for two years and then LCA and I was there for I think two years as well. And then now I'm at Vancouver All Stars Vast, and I love Vast so much. Finish my makeup. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this green off the shoulder um, top. It's really cute. And then I'm wearing a black uh, bralette, and then I'm wearing some Levi jeans. These are like my favorite jeans ever to wear. These are my mom's old jeans, actually. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment down below for any video ideas if you guys have any videos you guys want me to do hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye